Call from mom. Answer it. Call silenced. Instacart knows nothing gets between you and the game. That's why they make ordering from your couch easy. Stock up today and get all your groceries for the week delivered in as fast as 30 minutes without missing a minute of the game. You have 47 new voicemails. Download the app to get free delivery on your first three orders while supplies last. Minimum $10 per order. Additional terms apply. Have you ever covered a carpet stain with a rug? Ignored a leaky faucet? Pretended your half-painted living room is supposed to look that way? Well, you're not alone. We've all got unfinished home projects. Whether it's a door that sticks, or a disorganized closet, or an AC unit that only works half the time. It all matters. You just haven't taken care of it yet. But there's an easier way. Just download the Thumbtack app. You can search for what you need done and find tons of highly rated pros right in your neighborhood. Check prices, reviews, and book a pro right on the spot. Plus, you'll know what to tackle next because Thumbtack is the app that shows you what to do, who to hire, and when. Pull out your phone and in just a few taps, say goodbye to all those unfinished home projects and say hello to caring for your home the easier way. Download Thumbtack and start a project today. Now with the MLB app, you can get baseball your way. Pick your favorite team, your favorite players, and get customized highlights, stories, and breaking news right on your home feed. Follow the action with Game Tip, where 3D replays add another dimension. Plus, notifications can keep you connected to every pitch, every hit, every game. The MLB app. Baseball, your way. Download it now for free from the App Store or Google Play. Blackout and other restrictions apply. Major League Baseball trade parts used with permission. We do have Larry Steele, who knows a little bit about winning an NBA title. Larry, welcome. How are you today? I'm great. Thank you for having me on. Well, we appreciate you coming on the show. You had a, an esteemed NBA career. You played uh, eight seasons in the NBA, actually nine, all of that with Portland. And you were there for their 1977 championship run, uh, in which you were, obviously, again, a teammate of now the late, great Bill Walton. Uh, when you think of that season, what are the two or three things that stand out the most to you, Larry? Well, I think the, the biggest thing is how we continually got better throughout the year and more uh, confidence and playing at a higher level as we went into the uh, playoffs, especially uh, how uh, the, the offense for Jack Ramsey, because it was his first year of coaching, uh, we had quite a few new players, uh, Dave uh, Twardzik, uh, Maurice Lucas. Uh, it was like having a new player in uh, Bill Walton. Even though it was his third year, he was having injuries and really wasn't able to play to his ability. So that third year in the league. So uh, if you look at all that, it was like we had a bunch of new players and we had a new coach and uh, and the offense worked well with the personnel that we had. And uh, so that was um, an excellent uh progression of team play and I think the main thing I think about every time I'm asked about that that team I immediately go to the fact that that was a good team but the following year when we won 50 out of our first 60 games that was a great team and uh, unfortunately at that time Bill had some injuries again and I think Bob Gross had some injuries but uh, I think about the following year and what could have been with Bill being healthy could have been it could have been a dynasty so, yeah, with, uh, you know, by all indications, that Blazers team was, was very close, a, a tight-knit group, remains a tight-knit group. What uh, have the reflections been among you guys uh, about Bill during this week? Well, we haven't, I haven't had much chance to talk to too many teammates. Bob Gross, who's a close friend here in, in Portland. Uh, Lloyd Neal, who's here in Portland. We're the only three that live in the city from the championship team. Uh, but Bob and I were surprised. Actually, when I got the text from Bob, uh, he asked me uh, in the text, he says, did you know that Bill passed? I had no idea. I could not figure out who Bill is, uh, what Bill I would have known that would have been close to death. And then I got many texts right after that. But then I realized it was Bill Walton. So did not know that he was uh, – 
suffering from any illness, and Bob said he didn't know as well. So I don't know how many people knew, but it, it came as a shock to us for sure. Larry, do you uh, by chance have a story or something funny that possibly happened with yourself or Bill or, or anything like that that you could share with us? Well, I've had, I got a couple. Of, there's many, many stories. I lost oh, feed her next us. to him for <laughs> I, I lost her next to him for five years. So, from his r- rookie year until five years into his professional career, and I think the main thing that was always interesting for Bill was what type of diet he was on. Whether he was uh, on carrot juice and carrots, or whether he wanted to become a breatharian, or whether he was going to just consume mostly dolt from the the Bay of Funday, which I believe is basically seaweed. Uh, but there were uh, a lot of situations like that being being next to him and hearing him talk about how, how he wanted to be uh, healthier. Because those first two years, he wasn't ready, ready to play. He wasn't physically ready to play. And so he just wanted to be stronger and healthy. And so he was working on any kind of alternative uh, diet that he could – feel like that would benefit him. I also uh, uh, was involved, the whole team was involved, and I don't have any direct uh, knowledge that our flight from uh, Phoenix to San Diego received a bomb scare about the time Bill was involved in some politics. And uh, again, don't know that there's any direct link, but we got a bomb uh, threat on our plane and uh, the captain came on and told us. So we landed quite quickly in San Diego and evacuated the plane and everyone was safe. But uh, Bill was involved in the many, many different things and quite an amazing, unique character. And I should Doug, add a, an amazing basketball player. No doubt. Uh, Larry Steele, our guest, formerly of the Portland Trailblazers, had a nine-year career there. Uh, one of those years, of course, Portland won the NBA championship. Uh, so, Larry, the outpouring of respect and gratitude and just uh, it, w- it was amazing to witness once uh, news of Bill Walton's passing came about. And you mentioned he was an amazing basketball player, but that almost got lost in the shuffle when it comes to remembering Bill Walton because of everything else he did. He was an absolute renaissance man. Uh, his broadcasting uh, was unlike no other. Did you know at the time, now it's it's well known and documented, that it took Bill a while to kind of come into his personality. Had he done that at the time you knew him? And uh, were you surprised that Bill Walton became the character that he became? Well, it did take a while. And uh, I was there firsthand witness, at least after his uh, college career was over, and he came to the team, and whether it was uh, the pressure of being the number one pick, whether it was a disappointment of him not being able to play up his capabilities, uh, I don't know. But uh, the result of that, in my eyes, uh, was the fact that he was reserved. He was somewhat reserved. He, he wasn't as outgoing. But over those years of playing and getting able to play to his abilities and the confidence that he had on the on the court professionally, uh, and I think overcoming uh, stuttering. He had a slight stutter. He worked very hard to overcome that, which he did. And I think all those things uh, contributed to him, uh, his personality coming out, uh, meaning outgoing, uh, loving life, uh, uh, being able to just be a joy anytime you were around him. So he, he made a move from being reserved in my eyes to being just so outgoing, whether it was broadcasting or meeting new people or his teammates. So uh, he, he just developed, a, I don't want to say a whole new personality. I would say his inner personality came out over those transition years. And so a whole bunch of people, millions of people, got to know him at that point in time, uh, even though a lot of people knew him from his college days and his first years in the pros, there was a difference. So, you know, now that it's been 
upwards of nearly 50 years since that championship team. You remain in Portland. Just what is the city's relationship with that team? Obviously, you know, as it's, as it's only uh, major league sport up there, uh, the, the everyone loves the Blazers. So how is that team talked about now, and and how did it embrace you then? Well, I it's embraced now by, uh, I think, probably 10, 11, 12, 13-year-old young people, boys and girls that have heard about that team from their grandparents. So, so we, we have, uh, uh, have to go back a few generations, uh, but the, the older people in the community still completely understand. But I think those stories of how we played as a team, winning the championship, of course, uh, they have uh, they've, they've maintained their uh, excitement over the years. And quite honestly, as you said, it's, o- it's the only championship the team has. So uh, it hasn't been replaced. And they almost, uh, the 90, 91, 92, those seasons, when they were in the championship uh, game uh, two out of the three years, uh, that would have changed things. Uh, they would be talking about, and they still do talk about that team because it's a great team with Clyde Drexler and uh, his group. Uh, but because we are the only ones to win the championship, we still get talked about the most. Larry Steele, our guest, nine-year NBA veteran with the Portland Trailblazers back in the 1970s out of uh, Bainbridge, Indiana, where you were an, an, a tremendous high school player. You then played for Adolph Rupp at the University of Kentucky. Kind of a dream upbringing to play high school baseball in Indiana, go play collegiately at Kentucky, get to the NBA. Basketball's been pretty good to you, hasn't it? Well, it has been very good. There's been times I'm not going to write a book, but I've been very fortunate (laughs) to play at iconic situations, uh, much like the movie Hoosiers, my uh, high school basketball career then playing at Kentucky for Adolph Rupp and, and that environment there, and then being able to come to the Trailblazers and be on a championship team, again, the only one that they have ever had. Uh, yeah, I've been very fortunate. I don't know too many players that have had that type of experience in high school, college, and pros. So what was it like uh, playing for Adolph Rupp? What, what do you remember most about that experience? A Kansas guy. Well, I imagine that would be a big part of your book if you decided to write one. Oh, yeah, that would be a, a big part of it. Uh, different different way of coaching at that time. Uh, different mentality from the players. And it was pretty much at Kentucky is that you did it Coach Rupp's way or you hit the highway. And it's very tough. He could get about any player he wanted in the country. So, uh he didn't mince words. He didn't uh, uh, sugarcoat anything. Said this is the way we play at Kentucky, and it's fast paced, and uh, put a lot of pressure on you uh, to play. I uh, I actually enjoyed that because I was pretty critical of myself as well. Uh, but he, uh, uh, it was difficult in the last couple of years that I played there because he was having some health issues, and it was difficult on him. It was difficult on the team. We still had good years. Uh, but it wasn't uh, like it was in my first couple of years being around Coach Rupp. That's one legendary coach. You played for another in the NBA and Dr. Jack Ramsey. So tell us a little bit about his coaching style, which seemed pretty uh, opposite of that of Adolph Rupp. So why was Jack Ramsey so successful? Well, Jack, uh, I don't know when he came from Buffalo, what his offense was in, in uh, Buffalo. I, I've never looked into that. So I don't know whether he brought an offense that he was comfortable with and had been using in his uh, coaching career or whether he designed a whole new offense or a similar offense around literally Bill Walton. Uh, whichever is the case, the bottom line is that his offense uh, took advantage of a, a really a good passing and unselfish team in, in, in its entirety, uh, but specifically Bill Walton's uh, all-around ability and primarily his, his passing allowed uh, everybody to be better. So Jack Ramsey, uh, uh, a former state, uh, Navy SEAL, big on conditioning, uh, I'm sure – uh, even though I would not know about these conversations, I am sure that Coach Ramsey and Bill had a lot of conversation 
Uh, Bill coming off a couple years that he wished he could have been better. Uh, I'm sure that Coach Ramsey helped Bill mentally, emotionally, and physically in getting ready for that championship year. So Jack was uh, an outstanding coach, amazing, amazing man, uh, and so much appreciate how he approached everything. Bottom line, he always felt like that uh, you never beat yourself. So in other words, he prepared us for every game and uh, almost almost every game. If we lost, it was because the other team beat us, not because we beat ourselves. Well, really good stuff, Larry. We really uh, greatly appreciate you coming on our show to talk about your memories of Bill Walton, uh, your team in Portland, Kentucky. You've had an amazing career and and don't uh, don't give up on that book idea just yet okay <laughs> okay thank you well thank you so much for honoring bill he deserves all his accolades thank you for thank being you. with us we appreciate it larry Steele. everybody knows it toyota trucks are the stuff of legends rugged durable everlasting toyota makes trucks that just don't quit And now, Toyota is driving that legacy toward the future with two of their most powerful trucks ever, the new Tundra and the all-new Tacoma. In a half-ton Tundra, you can rule the roads. From the comfort of a spacious cabin with connected tech and plenty of hauling power, the Tundra is ready to work hard and play even harder. Or check out the all-new 24 Tacoma, redesigned and electrified to maximize your adventure. With a bevy of available off-road driving and power transfer modes, you will effortlessly crush the conditions. And with the Tacoma's reimagined interior, you'll do it in style. And right now, your local Toyota dealer has more vehicles in stock and is making delivery on new vehicles almost every day. So don't wait. Buy a Tundra or Tacoma today. Visit buyatoyota.com for deals and more. Toyota, let's go places. Baseball is back, and so is MLB.tv. Watch every out-of-market, regular season game on your favorite streaming devices. Anywhere, anytime, all season long. Follow the action live or on demand. Track four games at once with multi-view mode. And catch up with in-game highlights. Plus, original programs, minor league broadcasts, and local pre- and post-game shows. Go to MLB.tv to start your free trial today. Blackout and other restrictions apply. Major League Baseball trademarks used with permission.